What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showing the best build, best moveset, and best items for the brand new Pokemon Mamoswine. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel or just new to the channel, make sure you scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Seriously, thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator. But this Pokemon over here, Mamoswine, was highly anticipated. I was actually really, really excited for it. And now it's finally released. I'm going to have tons of fun with it using it on the Master Rank tier and showcasing it all for you guys. But this Pokemon was supposed to release midnight, September 29th. But for some reason, they did like an early drop. They dropped them around like 8 o'clock on September 28th at night. So give us a little like four hour window where we can actually use them and get them a little bit early. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought it was cool that they did a little surprise drop and showed them all for us. But we're going to head over here. We're going to show off this Pokemon stats, his moveset, all the good thing, and show you guys what personally I like to use with them. So if we go over here, we'll click on the boy Mamoswine over here and go to his moveset. He has his normal basic attack, blah, blah, blah. You guys already know about that. And then we'll start off with his ability, which is Thick Fat. So every time this Pokemon deals damage, its defense and special defense are increased for a short short time up to three times when the pokemon uses ice shard or ice circle crash or ice fang its next basic attack becomes boosted so that's really really cool that's really awesome all around so we can use our heavy hitting moves and then go into a boosted basic attack at the same time in addition if any of these moves create a freezing area of effect inside the ally goal zone it decreases the goal scoring speed of the opposing pokemon inside that goal zone so he is super super well defending considering he has moves that freeze pokemon so if there's pokemon out and about on top of your score zone Make sure you use some freeze moves on there, slow them down, and it will decrease the time or increase the time that it will take for them to score, which is awesome all around. Let's go over to his first set of moves. So he starts off with Ice Shard. Everybody grabs Ice Shard. It hurls three chunks of ice at the designated location, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area effect and decreasing their movement speed for a short period of time. If an opposed Pokemon is hit by all three chunks, they're left frozen for a short time. So Frozen is actually really, really cool. And it's like a new little ability inside this game because no other Pokemon freezes, right? I believe they don't, which is awesome. It's just all around really, really cool. So we can freeze up, we can stun, we can slow down. It is awesome all around. But then this move breaks down into two different moves, which I feel like you can't really go wrong with either or. But personally, I've been liking to use Icicle Crash as of recently. So Icicle Crash drops Icicles on a designated location, dealing damage to the post Pokemon area and decreasing the movement speed for a short amount of time. So it's basically like Ice Shard, but boost it, which is also cool. The final Icicle shatters after a set amount of time or when hit by the user's other moves or boosted attack, dealing damage to the opposed Pokemon and leaving them frozen. And then what else does it say? If the icicle is shattered by tackle or high horsepower, the ground of the ice is covered, which increases the movement speed of ally Pokemon that run over it. That's pretty cool. When it's upgraded, the final icicle leaves the opposed Pokemon. It hits unable to act for a short amount of time. So what it does is it drops multiple icicles and the final one is a giant one in the center. It was a giant one in the center and it takes a little bit of time to break. And once that breaks, it will freeze Pokemon who are still inside that area. But if you want to run up and tackle that one or go into a high horsepower, which is his second move, you can high horsepower that, break that instantly, freeze Pokemon and any Pokemon steps in there, we'll get a nice little speed boost, which is awesome all around. So I really do like that move and I think it's really, really good at controlling. The second move over here is Ice Fang, which again, you cannot go wrong going into this move. I think this one is really, really cool and it is a bit more skilled to use in my opinion. It uses his cold infused fangs to throw the opposing Pokemon closest to the user dealing damage and leaving the Pokemon frozen for a short amount of time. This user can then designate the direction to slam the thrown Pokemon forward or backwards, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area and leave them frozen for a short amount of time. So you basically dive in there. It's basically like a little dash. You dash in there. You pick up some dude with your ice fangs. You give him a little like Manny Mammoth uh, lift up and then you freeze him and you could toss him in whatever direction you want. So if I want to toss him back towards ally Pokemon, toss him out of our goal zone, toss him forward, you can throw him anywhere you want. So I think it's really, really good. But again, it's it's a bit more skilled. And if you're solo queuing, I don't think that's the move because uh, you're not going to really have people to talk to and tell them where you're throwing them and tell them that they're going to have an enemy coming over there because you don't not want to throw an enemy onto an ally Pokemon just for them to get beat up. It's really not the play. That's why I really like going Ice Crash. I feel like it rocks out all around. Let's head over to his next move set, which starts off with Tackle. It's his normal move right here. It has the user rush recklessly into the designated direction, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon hits, and throwing them. I really do like this move as a starter move. It's 8 second cooldown, but the dash range is really, really far. So you can actually pivot out. It's actually farther than the eject button, I believe. You can pivot out of certain situations, or you can get up and attack with it. So it's pretty cool as a standard move. Next move is High Horsepower, which personally is the move I really like to go into. 
It has to use your rush recklessly into the designated direction, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon it hits, and shoving them at the same time. So it's basically a dash, and it pushes them back at the same time. The user then stomps its feet, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area of affected, and leaving them unable to act for a short amount of time. So it dashes, pushes back, and then at the end of the dash, it lifts up its feet, slams down, dealing more damage. It's awesome, and it will actually stun them for a short amount of time, which is really, really great. The stomping deals increased damage to the Pokemon or opposing Pokemon that are frozen huge so if you want to go into an iso crash freeze them and then dash up and slam them you can be able to do more damage when you upgrade it and increase the reckless rush speed so it's quicker and the length of the time opposing pokemon are left and able to act so that's great all around so i really like high horsepower over earthquake but we will still show you guys earthquake earthquake is also a dash but it has a user leap up into the designated direction and then land forcefully dealing damage to opposing pokemon in the area of effect and pulling them towards the user so it's basically like a if you guys ever seen Snorlax jump up and stun move it's basically like that but you jump up, you stun, and it kind of gets sucked into you a little bit. So it's actually still really, really good. I just like high horsepower move. Just for the sheer fact is you could dash up and kind of hit Pokemon and stun them at the same time. But when this move gets upgraded, it decreases the movement speed of the opposing Pokemon for a short time. When this move is hit, and it increases the move's point. So pretty good. I really think you can go either way with any of these moves. I think they're really, really good all around. I just like high horsepower just a little bit more because you could break the Icicle Crash with it. The final move is his uh, Unite move, Mammoth Mash over here. Has a user jump to the designated location and becomes immune to hindrances. That is huge. That is huge when it comes to a Unite move. You cannot be blocked. You're just kind of doing your own thing and dealing as much damage as you can. The user then repeatedly stomps the ground, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area of affected and decreases the movement speed for a short time with each stomp. The final stomp throws the opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. So that's huge. Just slowing down Pokemon and dealing a massive amount of area damage all around. Really, really good. Really, really awesome. Next thing I want to go over is the best items for this guy. Best items for this guy, I've been doing a little research, been testing around with them. We're not using the Buddy Barrier for him. We are not using the Buddy Barrier. We're actually going with the Focus Band, the Muscle Band, and the Score Shield right here. You guys are probably wondering, yo, jeans, why not the Buddy Barrier? Buddy Barrier is one of the best items in the game. The reason we're not using Buddy Barrier is this Pokemon fully evolves and gets his Unite move at level 10. At level 10. So chances are you're really only getting like one, maybe two Unite moves, maybe two. If you're lucky, two Unite moves off of Mammoth Swine. So taking out Buddy Barrier is actually a great option just to throw in another item like Muscle Band or something else just to get a little bit more value into it. So I really do think these are the best items. I am actually going to upgrade while we're here. Score Shield to level 20. I got plenty of uh, points over here. And I still have one more Super Item Enhancer, which I'm still torn about using. I think I'm going to actually uh, run it up on the uh, Muscle Band. But for right now, we're just going to upgrade this thing to level 20, get it all shiny, get it all golden, and get our HP boosted as well. But these... These are what I think the best items are for him. Those are the best moveset. Let's actually go over and hop into some rank battles for you guys. Nice, lovely rank battles. But, yo, look how big this guy is. Look how big this guy is. He's enormous. He is enormous. It's so funny. But look at us. We're sitting in Master Tier. Let's hop into our first battle with Mammoth Swine and try to showcase him on the rank ladder. This is great. I was able to lock my main man, Mammoth Swine, in that top lane. Let's get after it. First battle on the rank ladder for today's video. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here. And something that I forgot to mention in the uh, intro is they announced or data mine leaked Sylveon's release date, which is actually October the 6th. And that thing will go live and be 10,000 coins. It is an attacker. So I think he's going to swipe up the meta. I think he's going to be really, really good. 10,000 coins. Usually the 10,000 coins Pokemon are super, super strong. So I almost have enough. I'm at like 8,000, but I have plenty of ways of getting coins. So definitely got to save up and rock out, get some coins so I can showcase Sylveon for you guys. But we're hopping into this first battle. Let's get right after this. Let's get right after this. I think I'm just going to uh, lead with Tackle with him. I think that's our best option. We can dash up, get some hits. Uh, what's this other move that you can lead? Is it Ice Shard? Might be Ice Shard. We might actually rock out with Ice Shard. Yeah, it's Ice Shard or Tackle. I might go I might go Ice Shard early on. Start off with my Swine up. The thing is, Mammoth Swine, he's a late game Pokemon. He takes a while to level up. So if you cannot get your levels, you're going to be looking a little tough for him. But our team's looking pretty good. I'm not even going to lie. Who's coming top lane with me? Is it is it going to be Gardevoir? Nope, it is going to be Bulba. Let's send our Ice Shard there. Look at that, yo. The free, yo, dude, Ice Shard rips. Ice Shard's ripping. Especially like area Pokemon. And rip up. These are boosted attack here. Let's actually double down on these guys. Bop, bop, bop. Yo, dude, Ice Shard team. Hey, hey, yo. Yo. Fletchling, what are you doing? What was that? Toss my Ice Shards there. We'll dip back here and get these guys. Yo, do you see that Fletchling coming in? Taking our cop lane eight pumps? Get out of my face, dude. Look at this Tackle Dash. Look at this Tackle Dash. Boop. Look at that Tackle Dash. Loving it. 
There we go. Take you out. And I have my score shield. I might go for a little bit of points here. My little swine up. They also have a swine up, which is pretty cool. But we have a nice little area of damage. Are we already chilling in the bush here? All stuff in the bush. I don't know if they're in the bush. I have no idea if they're in the bush. Oh, he's down here. Uh, you want to get back? Oh, they're coming after us. Let's toss this here. Oh, thank you. Let's dip back a little bit. Can I dip back? Yes, sir. Dip back with my uh, my stuff and things. There's our fletchling. I'm coming. I'm coming. All set. Let's get this rolling here. Dash up on you. Now I'm going to dip back with my eject button. Oh, no. I have potion on this Pokemon. I have potion right now, which is a little whack. You guys going to help me get these kills? You guys going to help me take out these guys? If I get this ice shard, I can actually take out this uh, Froakie. But we're chilling, we're chilling. I'm just gonna chill here, take out these guys. But yo, I have potion? I didn't switch my item. I want to rock the eject button. Looks like we're rocking potion here. Actually, help me out. I went to go dash back, and I want to call it. <laughs> I healed up, which is kind of funny. Uh, if this guy can dip back a little bit, I can help him out. I'm coming, I'm coming. Throw that at him, and we'll be chilling here. Let's get rid of these guys, and we're level 5. We got some nice little HP rocking out here. We got you over here. I'm gonna take you out. Drop my little iso crash over here. Yo, come on, Venusaur. I'm, I'm doing damage over there. You got to come over there and do that to me. I do have my score shield, so I kind of want to try to uh, get, a, get a few levels here. We're going to dip down here, have that Fletch Tinder, get some shots. And we're sitting here. I can deal some damage here. Do that. And here comes the Frogadier. Yo, Venusaur, you got to watch out here, buddy. I'll chill on her tower. You want to come after me? I'll throw this at you. Oh, no, he's right there. Luckily, that, uh, that what's called there. Oh, yo, he did pick up KO there. I can dip out here over here. Get the stun on you. And that's our Fletch Tinder chilling there. I can throw this over there and use my score shield to actually score some points. And now we're chilling. Beautiful. Beautiful. I did not evolve yet. I'm getting ready to evolve. I do need a wild enemy. Let's lead him. Yo, let me take this thing out. Let me take this thing out. Yes, sir. Let's go. Icicle crash. We got her. Oh, what's this thing called again? I totally forget what this second stage is called. I don't know why. But I'm going to head to the bot lane. Let the team know I'm doing it. But this Pokemon's really not here to get kills. He's just here to defend. Kind of chill out. And uh, be Mamoswine, man. But we're level 6, like I said, we evolved level 10. And there's Iso Crash. Look at that. I can actually tackle into that and break that, which is pretty, pretty cool. Oh, yeah, there's tons of Pokemon over here. I'd rather take out this. I'm gonna get after these guys. Let's go. Let's take out this thing. I can actually stun here. Use that. And I'm gonna dip up here. Stun him, yo. What's some hits? Get some hits off on these guys. Get some hits off on these guys. I'm gonna dip down here. I'm gonna use my potion, get some HP. They got no one back here right now. Level 7, we chilling. See if I can drop this Iso Crash here. There's a nice little Iso Crash. Should be able to score these points right here. Go invincible for a little bit, and I might stun him. Do I stun him? If they go after him, I'll stun him. You guys go after him, I'll stun him. Yeah, I'll stun him now. There you go, take him out. Get him out of my face. We don't need him here. Get him out of here. I'm gonna drop this ISO crash right here. Then I am gonna break that, and we get my main man, Dreadnought. Beautiful. And I pick up a big KO, and I pick up a big KO. Yo, look at us rocking out with him. I'm actually going to slow down everybody under his tower. I'm gonna dash into this thing, break that, and then score my points here and take out tower. We got tower all day. Later, tower. Oh, no. We almost took it out. That's whack. I'm going to back. I'm going to back into that top lane. Trying to get my levels up because I'm super, super close to level 10, which is great. But look at this. I can break that and then just break that ice crash inside that and deal a massive amount of damage. That's a huge amount of damage. For a Mambo Swine, yo, we teeing off. We teeing off. So, Roar's over there. I'm going to need some help on this top lane. I might call some people over here. I have my high horsepower now, which is awesome. I can actually showcase that if I want to. I can do... Ooh, I kind of just want to dip back here. Really do not want to mess with these guys. I'm going to drop this thing right here. Get a little freeze on him. And I'm going to just keep teeing off on this guy. I can actually high horsepower right into this thing. Let's do that. Push him back. Stomp. Is that my Blastoids? I'm going to need your Blastoids. I'm going to need your Blastoids. You got an ult or something? Oh, beautiful Blastoids. Beautiful. And we get the freeze there. Now I'm going to dash up on these guys. Stomp them out there. Beautiful, yo. Let's get it, yo. That's how we get it done. Now we're Mammoth Swine. We have her ult ready to rock. I am actually going to head back to base at this point. Just so I can get some HP, but yo, dude, what a play by me. Keeping those guys back, waiting for my teammates. And we were just rocking out there. We were just rocking out really, really good there. I'm going to actually head to the spot lane. I see a nice, lovely little Elder Goss coming over here. Where's this Elder Goss at? Where's this Elder Goss? He's up here. He hopping? Did she just hop? Yeah, she just hopped. The Gabite is also over here. We're pushing here. I'm going to call everybody to the bot lane, considering Dreadnought spawns again. And I have my ult ready. This might be a good time for me to send my ult. I think we are rocking out pretty strong with this Pokemon. But uh, let's get him up here a little bit. Send this ISO crash here. Maybe get a little bit of freeze. Slow them down a little bit. And what levels are Talonflame on? Oh, they coming in hot. I'm going to have to ult right here. They coming in hot. I'm waiting for my ISO crash again. Let's drop this ISO crash. I horsepower you. And I'm just going to ult here. I'm just going to ult. Just keep teeing off on this guy. 
and drop a nice little crash. Beautiful. High horsepower in. Slap up on some fools. Let's go. Let's get these fools out of here. Let's get these fools out of our game. We don't need them here. Drop my ice crash. We dip it in here. Did I get that? No, they ended up getting that. That's rough. That's rough. We're totally dead. Unless I can bring them back here. Because I got my teammates here. Got my ice crash. These things out of here. Need a little bit of help here. I'm going to need a little bit of help. I'm going to need a little bit of help or I'm dead. I need a little bit of help. Drop that there. Hey, chill on me. Chill on me. Help me out. <laughs> yeah, we weren't able to get dread all there, but it is all good. It is all good. Yeah, dude, I survived on like one there. Let me get some HP back here. Can I actually dash through here? I cannot. I was trying it. I was just testing that out. Let's go here. Let's double freeze these fools. Get off on these guys. And I'm a high horsepower on this thing. And I definitely need some HP, so I'm just going to chill in the tower for a little bit. And let's see if I can just ISO crash and finish this thing off. I should be able to get it, right? It does not. Come on, man. Wow. All right, there we go. ISO crash plus over here. Let's see if I can lead these dudes over here. There's a should be a little Aldina right here. And the thing is, I got to be close up close to personal do work. Right now, I'm just recovering HP. I'm going to dip back here. We got all these guys, and we're just going to keep farming up and wait for Zapdos, because that is going to be our bread and butter here. That's going to be our bread and butter, but I feel like we're playing pretty solid right now as a Mammo Swine. Getting some cool gameplay for you guys. Might lose this one, but it's all good. If not, we'll definitely win the next one. But uh, we're playing a nice little defending role here. Getting some points here. I see this Aurora poking over this way. Let's Aurora. Let me freeze you. Break that on you. And get him out of my face. Can we get this thing? Do I ult here? I'm going to ult. You want to ult on me? I probably should have saved my ult, but I really want to get rid of this Aurora. But come here. Come here. Oh, he's ulting. He's ulting. I might die. Might have to dip back a little bit. Ah, I thought I used my move. I thought I used my move. Now they're scoring points. It's all good. Uh, I'm going to tell everybody, yo, dude, let's head to the central area. I probably should have saved my ult. Because he wasted his, his ult, and that could have been big for us just for me to have an ult on the upper hand. But we're pinching here. We're getting, might be able to get that grenade. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Oh, a double kill. Yo, get the triple. Get the triple, baby. Finish that thing off, and then we can roll out towards that central area. Calling everybody. No, I didn't want to. I called everyone to the bottom path. It's all good. Let's roll out here. I might get my ult one more time. I might get my ult one more time. Let's rock it here. Oh, where are these dudes coming in at? Coming in over there. Shot my icicles here. Try to save my icicle here. Keep him away from, uh, what's it called? Freeze you. Try to get rid of this sword. Did we get that? We did not get that. That is super whack. That is super whack that we did not get that. We're going to have to go for a score here. We're gonna have to go for a score here. We did not get that. That's crazy. And they're going for defense. They're going for defense here. No, they're scoring up points now. Did they score? Or I gotta put these in. I got score shield. Right, I'm gonna let Blastoise hit this one up. I'm gonna let Blastoise hit this one up. Did he not get that? He did get it. Let me push him back. Let's see if we can kill this thing. I'm not gonna call this quit just yet. Yo, I need you here. Blastoise, I needed you here. Where'd you go? Back to base? Did you go back to base? I need to score. I let Blastoise score so we can get more points. And right now we're defending here. And I think we're losing this one. We really lost Zathos there. It was this close. We definitely had the upper hand there. I feel like we played super, super well here. Look at that. 5-5. Five five. I feel like we played a great Mammoth Swine. I feel like we outplayed them a lot. But I'm not upset with that battle for recording purposes. I feel like we showed off Mammoth Swine really, really well defending. We were able to defend super well. But these guys are just going to defend out and have this game in the bag. Thanks for helping, Gardevoir. Thanks for helping late game, Gardevoir. I'm coming, boys! I'm coming! I'm coming! I don't know if that's faster. I got 20 seconds. I do not want to vote to surrender. We don't vote to surrender. No, we're not doing it. We ain't doing it. Scored 8 points. No, I get a speed boost from this. I'm just going to call this. Score shield. Dang it. <laughs> we tried. We tried. Got my ice crash, and that's GG, Joe. We're going to end up losing this battle, even though we outplayed him so hard. Let's see this one. Look how close that was. They only beat us by 200 with getting Zapdos. That's a rough one. Glad I got to show off Mammoth in this first battle, though. But we're definitely going to hop into our second one and grab ourselves a win. Yeah, we played super, super well with him. Super, super well with him, I thought. I thought we got to show off his moves. Got to make some great plays with pushing people back and defending our towers. But let's hop into our second one and grab our first win with Mammoth Swine.
Let's grab ourselves our first win for today's video. Coming off a strong first battle, definitely could have went either way with the Zapdos. I felt like most of our allied Pokemon were chilling there and could have been able to uh, take out Zapdos, but they just ended up getting that lucky last hit, which is really, really rough. But I'm going to switch out my item, my potion to the Jack button, and I'm going to call out this top lane. Hopefully, we have somebody who goes into the jungle. Who's playing the jungle? Who's playing the most important part? I'm not playing jungle. I'm Matt Moswine. I'm making a video. They should know. Gene's YouTube. Making a video right now. But yeah, we need somebody in the jungle. Central area is a thing, people. It's a thing. I swear, y'all. If we don't have anyone playing in the jungle, and I'm going to have to go Manny the Mammoth Mammoth Swine over here in the jungle. Um, we're just going to get swept here. We're going to get swept, yo. The team chemistry is not here. The team chem is not here. They have a Greninja, a Zavora. They're going to have Greninja and Blastoise in that top lane, probably. Ooh. What are they going to have? Mammoth Swine. And Grand Grand in that top lane. Definitely Zoror in the jungle, right? Unless this Grand Ninja is real greedy. He's just like, hey, I only play jungle. But yo, Venusaur or Ninetales. I need one of you guys to be like, hey, all right, I'm stepping up here. I'm going to go in the jungle. Or Gardevoir. I think Gardevoir could be really good, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely not Manny. I'm definitely not a defender. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Let's have our Ice Shard early on. And who is going into that jungle? It's going to be Rolls, man. All right, Gardevoir. Let's see what you got, girl. Let's see what you got. Thank God. I was going to be so upset, yo. It's Nobody rocking out in the jungle. It's been real rough for us. Yo, Venusaur. Oh, that's a great, that's a great way to rip up these guys. A great way. We got Tackle already ready to rock. And these guys haven't even spawned yet. So I'm just going to drop this thing right over here. I'm just going to Tackle back. Dip over here. Bang. And just 13 off on this thing. And a Squirtle. What you want, fool? Oh, of course I missed all them. I got the back. I got the back. Jeans has to dip back. Let's actually have this thing come over towards our tower. Slow him down. I get some HP back here as well. So I just, or, or just, Venusaur just keeps getting the kills, man. Why are you doing me dirty? Yo, Venusaur, do not take that core fish. That is not your core fish to take. That is not your core fish to take. So I'm just chilling on the tower here. They come up here. Three of them, actually. Get back a little bit. I'm out. Ice Shard. Keep him back. Yo, we're going to need Rolts. I'm going to call people to the top lane. Eldegoss says she's coming over, or I don't know why Eldegoss just said she was coming over. But I see you in this bush right here. Here's the roar right here. I'm about to dip back here with my eject button, and I cannot do much there. Drop that ice shard. I'm about to dip back here. Cannot do much. Call my teammates over there. It's just rough. I knew the third person was there. I don't know, like, what I should do in that situation. Maybe just hang back a little bit, but, yo, now we're low level. Now we're low level, and we're going to have to show the power of Manny playing comeback here. At this point, Ralts should have been either in our top lane or taking control of that bot lane. Like, if they're going to get top lane and get points like that, we definitely need somebody to take control of that bot lane or come over here and help us out. That could have been really, really nice for us. Of course, I miss out on shard. I mean, I kill. Son of a biscuit, man. God dang it. <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm trying here. New character. Let me, you know, let me steal something from you. You chilling, man. You going to help me out here? All right, I got the back. I got to dip back. Earlier is probably going to be high and might be able to carry us later in the game. But if they're going to come this way, I'm going to have to drop this ice shard, defend them up a little bit. And I just need levels, man. I do need levels indeed. Oh my lord, they're coming after me. They're coming after me. Let's keep rolling here. I'm not worried about kills with this Pokemon considering we're a little swine up. But like, we're not really going for kills. We're kind of just chilling here looking for assists and all that good stuff. Right now we wait. I am going to call everybody to the spot lane. Even though I'm not level 5. Ooh. Sun him up. Rip. We're just not high enough level here. Oh, here comes a Curlia, which is great. Curlia coming in hot. Got my, uh, oh, I don't evolve at this level. I need one more level. Nice. Let's take out this guy. I'm gonna score. Let's go my three points, even if it's three points. Tackle up on you. Nice, nice, nice. I do need level six. I do need level six. What should I want to chill back here? Just take all these enemies here. I do want to head to also head to the spot lane, which I am going to do. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming. He's coming. Let me take out this core fish real quick. If I can take out this core fish, it can be huge for us. There we go. Now I am Pillow Swine. Is it Pillow Swine? I think I think I got the name right. Big KO from the Ninetales. Let me come down hot. I'm coming in. I'm only level six though. Oh nice. Got him. I got him! Get out of here, Zor. Let me score my points. Let's go take out Dreno. 
Let's go take out Jenna. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's gonna be big for us. It's gonna be big for us. Let's drop this. I'm gonna just tackle into this. Let's go. Take him out. Take him out, baby. Yes, yeah, sir. Give me that high horsepower. Let's rock out here. Let's rock out. Look at Jeans coming in the back end, taking out Zoror. Just a beast. I'm just a beast. Over this curly, it goes back. But, dude, look how much damage we can actually do once we get our moves. If Curly's not going, I guess Eldegoss is going to capture up on all that stuff. It's going to be really, really good. And we're just rocking out here. Go here. Take out this. Just keep slamming up on people, dude. Look at that damage. The damage is ridiculous. Oh, can I get my Icicle Crash? If I can get my Icicle Crash again, I'm going to be thriving. Step here. Smack up on that. And we could just take out uh, Rotom here. Could just take out Rotom super, super easily. And now that we have Rotom, I can actually just Iso Crash here. I'm going to dash up onto him. And we're just going to all be able to score here. I cannot score, dude. I cannot score. Everyone keeps taking my kills, man. Yo, get out of here, dude. Get out of here, War Turtle. Do that. I got the back. I got the back! And I get a kill, at least. There's a kill. Oh, I might be able to get two here. Go ahead, Venusaur. Take, take the front spot. Take the front spot. Take the front spot, Venusaur. I got the back. I got the back. Yes, sir. Give me that. Almost level 10, which could be great. Almost level 10. Uh, do I just go back to base, or I just feel like I finish off these guys? Even though I'm low health, I feel like I just finish off these guys. Finish off you. And, yo, Venusaur, let me get that. Venusaur, let me... Ah, oh, you son of a biscuit. So, I'm gonna say head to the bottom path. Almost Mammoth Swine. If I get Mammoth Swine by the time we, uh... Oh, can I get this? Eldegoss, let me get this. You just take that thing out? Eldegoss, let me get that. Let me get that, Eldegoss. Thank you, Eldegoss. I love you, Eldegoss. So now I have my Unite move. Perfect timing considering the last Dreadnought is going to spawn. So maybe I can roll out of here and, uh... Ooh, give me a Stitch Berry. Maybe I can roll out of here, get some big KOs, and we can actually steal Dreadnought. I, mean, I am going to pop all here. There's a big KO for us. I get a little bit of help here. Back here. Then that thing. And where is this, uh... We can actually just do this. Big double KO, yo. Let's get this. A little Ninetales. Let's get this. Let's get this, a little Ninetales. Yo, bop. Take out this Dreadnought. That could be huge, yo. Huge Unite move for me. Pushing all them back, slowing them down, and having our team be able to uh, take control of that team battle. Take this thing out. There we go. Now we can take out you. You want to push up on us? Get out of my face! Get out of my face. That's lovely. I could freeze these dudes. It'd be lovely. Where's the main one at? Oh, he's all the way back there. God dang, double team doing us dirty. Doing us dirty, but in the meantime, I'm just going to head to the stop lane. They can score the points. I'm not scoring a lot of points. I've been trying to, but they've just been outscoring me. They've just been scoring before the tower breaks, so I haven't been able to get off a lot of points. But let's do this. Well, here, get my level 12, which could be lovely. Dude, Icicle Shard's so good. For no reason, it's so good. There's this Aurora chilling there. It's two of them. Oh, we can push up on this all day. Yo, let's get him. Oh, he you could jump over that? Did you guys see that? The dude jumped over that. This is crazy. If I can kill this dude. Ah, uh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was a bad push by me. Uh, they got a lot of ults on deck here. They're sending them. I'm just going to save my ult for when uh, Zapdos does spawn because that could be huge for us. Our team's defending really well. He's actually defending really, really well. I feel like we're playing awesome. Double kill. Big old double kill. Uh, I'm just going to head to the central area. Just for the time being, take out all these enemies. They can have that tower. Because, again, it's just going to come down to zap this year. Look at that damage we just do on that. And this Venusaur is low-key ripping. For no reason. For no reason, he's low-key ripping, which I'm loving. Which I'm loving. We get our Icicle Crush Plus, which is great. We're going to break this thing. Slam up on this guy. And I have my ult ready to go for zap this. Which is just huge. Which is just huge for us. Let's take this thing out. Oh, yo, of course he hits me. Take you out, and let's get rolling. Oh, yo, we got this dang Blastoise over here. The He's gonna score. Stretch. I probably could have hit him. You're on fire. Take it back, baby. Alright, we're level 12. I'm ready to rock out here. I'm just gonna jump in there and probably send my ult. Might be my play. Or I might send my moves and then send my ult. What do I do? I'm waiting for my team to kind of get over here. Be really, really nice. Here's my team. Now nah, I'm gonna just have to pop all here. So I slow them all down here. Get back a little bit. Can I break that? Let's just dip up into this guy. Slam up on him. Can we get some KOs here? I'm gonna have to check button back here. Someone just buddy barry me, which is great. 
There you go, there's KO for us. I'm gonna dip down here, slam up on this guy. If somebody can come over here, we can actually pick up an easy KO on this guy. Easy KO on this guy. Back on here. Slam him. Come on, come on. Where's my team at? There's a KO for me. There we go. Let's get this. I'm actually just gonna go score, I think. I'm just gonna go score. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go score while they're fighting that. Considering I'm super, super low on HP. I'm gonna slow down all them guys. Do that. And I'm gonna just go score these 50 points. Or 100 points because it's doubled. I have a score shield. Oh, no, no, no. Can you guys get Zapdos? Oh, my lord, dude. Bruh, we just can't let him get Zapdos. And so far, he's at full health. So I'm really liking where we're sitting. Dude, this Venusaur has got to be up on the kill board. Only nine. Okay, I thought he had a lot more. But if they just defend Zapdos, we have this win in the bag. Ninetales going to go score in that top lane. That's huge. That's huge. That's what I was trying to do. And of course, they hopped over at the last minute. But yo, that should be GG's. Venusaur is... Oh my god, yo. Venusaur is playing super, super well. But yo, Mammoth Swine? A lot of fun to play. Because A, you don't have to worry about kills. You don't have to worry about kills. You can kind of just defend. And the Icicle Shard is so much fun to use. But that's going to be GG's with no Zapdos. That is great, yo. I'm super, super glad we we're actually be able to show off this character to its fullest potential. He's not a high kill character, so if you guys were expecting high kills, it ain't happening with Mammoth Swine. It ain't happening with Mammoth Swine, but look how much we were able to defend. They were only able to take one tower, and that wasn't even our top lane tower, and I was playing top lane. That just shows the power of Mammoth Swine, dude. Awesome battle there. I had three points. I should have had more. I should have had more. There was multiple opportunities where I should have scored a lot, but like at the end there, last second, didn't get it. First tower we destroyed. I did not get it because our other team scored before me. Same thing with the top tower. Wasn't able to cash in three different times. I got two thumbs up. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. But hey, one and one for today's video. Got to show off Mammoth Swine to his fullest potential. Awesome set of battles for today. We went one and one with the brand new character Mammoth Swine and got to show off his best moves and his best held items, which is awesome all around. I really do like this character. I think he's super, super fun to use. And if you guys haven't picked him up and you like the Defender Pokemon, Definitely buy this guy. Super strong. Definitely an A tier defender, in my opinion. Definitely high up there on the defending list. I think there might be like one other defender who's better than him. And I would say maybe Snorlax, because Snorlax is just pretty OP right now. But I think he's right up there with Blastoids. I think Blastoids is kind of there. And Mammoth Swine might be a little bit above him. It's super, super close. But I really do like this character, considering he has the freeze ability now. They added that aspect to the game. And he really rocks out with it, being the only Pokemon who's able to do that. So, awesome Pokemon. Glad I got to show him off. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.